Echo 47, 1227. I replaced all the capacitors in it. Let me turn it down just a little bit here. I replaced all the capacitors in it, and the amplifier portion is working okay, but the tuner is not. I'm using an external tuner to feed in some audio. So I'm going to take the chassis out now and uh, check it over, see where I don't have voltage. I saw a burned resistor in there, so I think that may be the problem. Now we have a rare situation in this area in that there is a station on 1400 and one on 1410 that are both playing music and I can pick both of them up uh, in this area. The 1400 station is from Big Spring and the 1410 station is from Odessa. So there's 1400. There's 1410. It's got a Loctal rectifier tube. I think it's a Type 5 AZ4. It uses a mix of Loctal and Octal tubes. And a few miniature tubes, just two. Got a field coil speaker. Let's try FM here. Dog the man would like to hear the bass from the, the field call speaker with some rap music. <laughs> DJ Noodles, fix your face on the ones and twos. DJ Noodles, Mr. Drill Side, checking in. Checking in. Doing what I do best. DJ Noodles, Mr. Drill Side, checking in. Okay, we'll take the chassis out here and do some voltage checks. See where, see if that resistor may be the problem. As the camp has gotten closer, I've now got the AM portion of the Philco radio working. I found that there was just a bad connection at a wire here, so I put an alligator clip up to restore the proper connection. Here are all the new caps. I ordered these kind of quickly and I didn't realize that they didn't uh, have long leads on them. They were for PC board use. So next time I'll make sure to check the data sheet before ordering. Of course they work just fine. I just needed to add a little bit of wire to each lead uh, to make the connections. These are all .01 capacitors. And then there's some new electrolytics. There's a fuse holder. When whoever worked on this last kind of messed up the dial uh, string because it only covers a portion of the variable capacitor range before it runs out of dial. So I'm going to have to restring the dial cord. We will beat any legitimate estimate of quote. Call Jim Berg today, 877-299-GOLD. That's 877-299-GOLD. Hey folks, Randy Hoffman here for Benny Boyd Pre-Owned Superstore, conveniently located in La Mesa, Texas. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Hi, Dorothy. I'm um, loving this program. Let's try FM. You know, when I try FM, just don't get anything. So I think I'll take it back into the workshop 
and put it on the signal generator and try and introduce a signal starting with an IF signal. And this actually uses a 9.1 megahertz IF rather than the 10.7 used in modern radios. So I'll keep making some progress on this, but I do have the AM now working. I think I may have found the problem. I hooked this up to the uh, HP signal generator and I did get a signal in through the AM in the 500 to 1600 kilohertz range. But I put the 9.1 megahertz cycle in for FM and got nothing. And I found here on the 7x7 FM ratio detector tube that it was not hooked up to the IF transformer at all. There are places where wires would have hooked up to it, but no connection. I have to check inside the IF can and see if the, I, the FM terminals are still there. Here's a replacement IF can. I have a feeling this is just an AM only IF can. And it's got kind of a crummy soldering job to the chassis here. Apparently, whoever worked on this last didn't think that the uh, listener needed FM, or maybe the customer who brought this in didn't care about FM at the time. That makes That's going to make me mad if I can't uh, get the FM working on this. It was so rare to find an FM console radio this old. And I'm going to have to try to find, and it's not even a standard IF frequency, it's a 9.1 megahertz. IF frequency, so I don't know if this is going to work on FM if I open this up and find that there's no FM uh, coils in there. may just have to be AM only. Oh, and it's just like I suspected. There's only one set of IF coils in there, and they're AM. So this radio may never get FM unless I can somehow find a uh, Philco Exact Replacement IF can and the thing about these IF cans, too, is that they've got both the AM and the FM coils inside the same can. Most uh, later radios had separate IF transformers, but these are very unusual ones. For one thing, it's an unusual frequency, 9.1 megahertz, and both the coils or the transformers in the same can. So maybe someday I'll be lucky enough to stumble across one of these, but I guess this will have to just be an AM only radio for now.